so Wood first approached me about Battle of the East, um, he had just returned from the United States and he visited the regionals. He saw what he wanted and he thought we need to have something like this that brings people together. My name is Anna Caldas and I came here from California. I come from Dubai. I'm from Denmark. I'm from Kuwait. Uh, visiting from Doha. I come from Oman. Uh, my name is Abdurrahman Al Ghanem. I'm here from Kuwait. Uh, when I heard about the qualifiers for Battle of the East, I thought I'd give it a shot. And then when I qualified, it was a pretty easy decision to come here. Hello and um, welcome to the Battle of the East. This is our second annual event in 2014. On day one, we're going to be going through 103 athletes, going through three different workouts. They'll be testing their capacity, their skill, their strength. This year we have two divisions. We have the RX and we have the scale. RX is going to be athletes that are going to do everything as required. I, we have a standard set. And the scale, it's not easier. Uh, the standards are just a bit different. Last year we had a really good event for the athletes. This year we wanted to do a better event for the fans uh, and give the opportunity to people that have never seen this to really have an idea of what's going on on the floor. So they would be able to know at any point who was in the lead and who was where. Here we are at day two of the Battle of the East. We, yesterday we went through three different workouts. Today you're going to see a lot more tests of strength and skill. And the athletes will be going through one strength ladder and then into a semi-final and a final. You know, the, you can feel the energy. It's good to show, uh, show people what is CrossFit like. Like everyone's just friendly, uh, high fives over here, everyone's cheering everyone. People embrace the sport and, and they have time and, and they're committed to it. And so from the community aspect, that's great. The more people that know about CrossFit, the easier it is for us to build that community. You know, the level is increased and uh, from our, of our friends from Dubai, from Bahrain, Oman and all of the other countries, they really stated that this is the best event in the region. Without it, I, I think I'd... I'd miss something. I just want to prove to people that it's not just men who are physically capable of pushing their limits, but also women. Come try it and then see what happens. We're five workouts down. Athletes going through the final. The top five in each division are battling out to win the Battle of the East. Let's see who wins. Let's see what happens. Like it was really good, good level. But I'd say there was probably ten athletes that were battling out all weekend that were. A very high standard. There was a, a great bunch of girls to compete against, so yeah, I think it went quite well. It was a very tough race. It's like the last day, you're always like a bit more nervous, and when it's knockout, it's really, it's really tough because it's it's now or never. You can't pace yourself. You just need to give it everything. Ah. Uh, Obviously it feels awesome because like my target was to like be on the podium and when it happened and I feel ecstatic. 